Hi friends, happy, happy Sunday. I hope that you are having a great, great weekend. I just wanted to come on and quickly thank all of you for your love and support on my posts for today. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, today is the... Of course, as soon as I go live, Cooper's in here with his phone. Um, today is the one year anniversary of my decision to remove alcohol from my life and live a lifestyle that is alcohol free. And if you saw my post today, you likely know that I am not celebrating being alcohol free today um, because when I made that decision a year ago to no longer include alcohol in my lifestyle. It was not about me giving up alcohol or not wanting to drink anymore. Um, it was more so just like reaching a point where I wanted and felt the need to shed a part of myself that I felt like was keeping me from reaching my highest potential. And I really wanted to share that with you today because if you're watching this video or if you've been following my journey for the last year and you think to yourself, well, I don't have that problem with alcohol or I don't identify as that being an issue for me so I can't relate. Replace alcohol with literally anything in your life that makes you feel like the lowest version of yourself. So that could be a relationship that you're in. That could be a toxic friendship that you have. That could be a job or a career path that you're on that you just don't feel fulfilled in. And so I feel like it's super important for me to make that distinction today because like I said, I'm not I'm not celebrating being alcohol free. I'm celebrating choosing me and making a decision in my life that I know helps me become the highest version of myself. And I want you to know that you can do the same. It doesn't have to be with alcohol. It doesn't have to be the same path that I have chosen. That's just what I felt. I felt when I was drinking that I just didn't like the person that I became. I didn't like um, the way in which alcohol made me feel. And so because I have been on such a quest and journey of personal development and truly honestly living my life as authentically as possible and honoring myself and what it is that's important to me that anything that does not fit into that or into the standards that I have set for myself and for the life that I want to live it's not part of my life anymore so I just wanted to come on here again and say thank you thank you thank you to all of you who have been so supportive of me today with my post and over the last year it truly has been such a transformative year for me and so insightful and I want you know, I want you to know that you have the power to make that same choice for yourself and again it doesn't have to be alcohol related it doesn't have to be the same path that I have chosen but I do want you to really 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 take a step back and analyze the parts of your life the people in your life who make you feel like the lowest version of yourself or who keep you in a low frequency. Life is too damn short, you guys. It is way too short to be living a life that you don't love and to be in situations or be engaging with people or anything that does not make you feel like your highest, most vibrant self that you can possibly be. So that's it. I've got my kombucha right here. Kombucha cheers to you. And kombucha cheers to living your most authentic, vibrant life. I love you. I am so proud of you. Wherever you are at today, know that I am sending you so much love and so much good energy. And I wish nothing but love and happiness for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah.